Oh, great. Uh, want to make sure it worked? You know, uh, he does uh, murder on those weapons. Uh, uh, my travel agent told me I was supposed to be on an ocean cruise. I guess I got lost. You got a lot of funny lines, mister. But what I want to know is who you really are. Let's say I'm a one-man warning team. In just a little bit, a bunch of ex-green berets are gonna climb all over your peace of mind. Well, in just a little bit, you're gonna get it if you don't tell me who you are. Well, think of me as a concerned historian. It's about 122 years since slavery was outlawed in this country. I figured a slime like you needed to be educated. Oh! Put him in a tin can. We'll see if we want to talk then. I remember I'll come back and see you after a while. Hey, you don't mind if I uh, hang a few pictures in here, do you? How we doing, B.A.? What do you mean, we? You ain't under here getting greasy and dirty. You know, I don't think we need face down here, B.A., I, I honestly don't. I mean, thanks to Herman, we're gonna have this steering linkage fixed in, in a few minutes. I mean, he knew exactly what to do. Herman didn't think of it. You thought of it, not the book. Oh, you flatter me, monsieur. No, no, Herman is the idea man. I merely translate his brilliance for all of mankind. Shut up, Murdoch, you're driving me crazy. You guys, we gotta go find Hannibal. We were supposed to be there two hours ago. Yeah, but where's there? What? What'd you say, little buddy? Herman, that is a great idea. It's perfect. Perfect. Herman said all we gotta do is scam the information from France. <clears throat> I'll squash that book! B.A., did you fix the van? Yeah. It'll do. But this fool rides in the back. Of course, we'll have to get around some muscle. Prince is bound to have some of his uh, buzzards in that scuzzy little bar of his. Amy, break out your heels, honey. You're going in. Shoot up with lime, honey. Doggone it. You are cute. You know that? Name's Prince. Like in Charming, I'll bet. <sighs> Dakota Haynes. Person to person. How you doing? I am sure glad I found this place, I can tell you that. Donnie had to go off in his dinghy with his pinhead associates on those stupid little ducks. There I was. All alone on the Woody Hayes. It's Donnie's yacht. Just getting thirstier. And thirstier. This, uh, Donnie, your husband? Just a boyfriend. He loves to come down here and shoot those cute little Mexican mallards. I know, you just ask me. I think it's me. I don't want you to get me wrong. I mean, I hate ducks myself. Except for those big lips they got. I just love. Big lips. Oh, yeah, wow. Dakota, honest to Pete, don't you ever learn? Crimin' Nelly, I knew I'd find you in a dump like this. Lord, it's Jerry. He works for Donnie, and he's just a vain little weasel. Don't you think he could do something? Yeah, look, uh, we're all booked up in here, friend. Why don't you take a hike, huh? Donnie, he, he feels terrible about leaving you alone all this time, Dakota, but 
The duck boat sank. Willie Ray nearly drowned. You have a dive pop, please. Don is real depressed, Dakota. You ought to seen him out there treading water with all them ducks floating around, mocking him, all arrogant like. It's come on back, Pumpkin Donnie. He wants to make up. Can't you just get him out of here? I mean, he's ruining our fun. Hey, hey, Jones, Garcia, why don't you show Jerry here what a nice street we got outside? Hey, huh? hey, this is a private matter here. Just yeah. make sure when he lands, he don't hit hey, my new come car. Come on, guys, the joke's over, you know? Uh, Dakota, you're gonna be real sorry he made his choice. Real sorry. You know, Donnie doesn't take just anybody duck hunting, you know? <laughs> Well, hi. <gasps> I'm Danny, and uh, this is Marie. Quack, quack, sugar. Now, I think this is where a smart man would tell us where that truck went when it left San Ramon. You're in heavy fog, mister. And you're running illegal aliens making money off of other people's bad luck. Fog starting to clear? You got a choice, Jack. You either talk, or you hurt. Hey, you guys can't get away with coming in here like this. Oh, yes, we can. We're extremely lucky people. And those friends of yours out there are going to be able to help you for quite a while. Ooh, mama, mama, look at, look at what I found here. Ooh, I bet you make one deadly margarita, Prince. Now, we're going to find our friends using you as a navigator and uh, that car of yours outside for wheels. And we better not be disappointed, because there's a little girl that uh, my friend B.A. here wants to see smile again. That's right, Jack. You understand? Bet you've never seen that much change. Hey, friend, you hear me? What about my iced tea? Did anybody get my order? Boy, talk about your lousy service. Still coming with the jokes, huh? You know how hot it gets in here, mister? I've seen two men die, and it ain't even noon yet. I'll tell you something, Taggart. I was in one of Ho Chi Minh's death camps, and I made it. You're just an amateur. Get him out of here. Put him with those people we're going to ship out. Get on the road, get going good, and dump him out the back. That way we ditch him, and we save cleaning up the mess. just keeps getting better. First you take me off Hollywood Boulevard dressed as a cop, and now the Range Rider shows up. You know the Range Rider? A full-blooded American Indian living on the open plains of Arizona where the Range Rider dispenses his justice. Naturally, he's heard of me. I used to catch the Saturday morning reruns when I was at UCLA. Mr. Running Bear. Daniel. Daniel. There is a federal bureau that watches over wild mustangs. Yes, but like any other branch of the government, too much to govern, too few people to do it. There are thousands of wild horses scattered throughout the United States. And every one of them is protected by law. Yes, but when someone like Bus Carter breaks the law, it's very hard to press charges. The largest landowner and his standing with the local cattlemen's association makes him a very influential man in the county. He also plays dirty. Uh, to be perfectly honest with you, I've had most of my wardrobe made for the year, and I don't have anything to go with one of those. So I'm, uh, I'm afraid I'll have to return this money you gave us. Face. Look, I'm sorry I didn't tell Mr. Lee I didn't have enough to cover your fee. No, you're not. <laughs> you're right. I had to meet you to convince you how important this really is. We've had it happen to us before, haven't we, Amy? I don't think it ever hurts to listen to anyone's troubles. We always working for chump change. This time we're trying to save a bunch of horses. 
But these horses have been there for as long as my people can remember. They're part of the land, part of my tribe. Surely you can appreciate the importance of one's heritage and traditions. I will raise the money eventually. Look, all I ask is that you come down and take a look. See for yourselves. If that doesn't convince you, then I understand. Well, I guess anybody who's crazy enough to take on three jeep loads of armed rustlers on horseback by himself deserves special consideration. You're still working for almost nothing again. Once again, the mysterious Range Rider sets out on another thrilling adventure with his trusty steed, Thunder, who... who will remain behind just this one time. Well, guys, shall we saddle up? Colonel Decker, did you hear that? You know this guy? Everyone in Vietnam knew him. He's one of those guys that always got the job done under any circumstances, and he never lost any sleep over how he did it. Yeah, Hedible and this guy mixed it up once in the Doom Club. The Doom Club? Uh, the denying officer's open mess. Well, you didn't like the way he sugared his coffee? No, I didn't like the way he blew up Kong hospitals like it was his favorite sport. Give yourself up, or I'll flush the whole building and everyone inside of it right in the sewer. Is he kidding? Man, it sounds like he's crazy. Decker is crazy. Look, maybe I should go out and talk to him. You want me to start blasting, Smith? Well, Hannibal? I'm thinking. Think faster, man! Uh, Decker, this is Smith. You ought to cool out. What if we had an innocent person in here? Who might that be? Amy Allen? I'd hardly call her innocent. Okay, look. No talk. You come out or we come in. And you're not going to like it if we come in. I'm giving you two minutes. Don't you love it? No matter how smart they think they are, they always screw up somehow. Come on, let's get the weapons out of the van. Two minutes? What are we going to do in two minutes, Hannibal? Well, you heard the man. We're going out the front door. obvious. They really have no choice. With anyone but Colonel Hannibal Smith. With him, nothing is obvious. Well, what can he do? We'll find out in about 40 seconds. the A-team once and for all. What about Hannibal? He'll be all right. Get those civilians back! Keep the civilians out of the way! All right, show's over. Go back to work. Come on, move along. Hey, you got a light, pal? Sure. Keep him. Thanks, pal. Beautiful Arizona. Quiet, serene, a comatose state. You ought to scout locations for your next movie here. That career sure went fast. Talk about the sizzle and fizzle of Hollywood. Whoa, whoa man, give me room. Hey, 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 B.A., hey, take it easy. You're going to break my rib. This fool won't give me no room. I didn't design this thing. Besides, ain't room back here for four of us. Four of us? What do you mean, four us? Three of us, sucker. You got that? You hear me, sucker? That's three of us, no animal, no nothing. You got it? Let me say three, Murdoch, is gonna bounce you down the hyphenated line. Okay, 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 three. Will you guys knock it off? 
my reporter's salary, I can't afford to buy a new car every time you guys get together in it. Well, it's a long ride, and this is not the most comfortable car. I'm comfortable. We wouldn't be going through this if you didn't leave my van behind. You said we were going to lose them MPs. I did. But you didn't bring my van back. I worked hard on the wheels, Hannibal. I'm sure it'll turn up sooner or later. can uh, drag the bay. Don't waste the energy. All of the bodies couldn't have washed out. How did he do it? He's Hannibal Smith. That's how he does it. It would have been easy enough for him to jump clear of the van before it hit the water and then drift off with the rest of this crowd. For a while, I thought this was going to be easy. 